What is up, guys? It's Super Electivire here, and I will be doing a really awesome Pokemon here today. Um, it is number 257, and it is Blaziken. Now, it is the awesome species, awesome Pokemon species, and um, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what I did with Electivire this time. Oh wait, it's the Blaze Pokemon species. What? But Blaze is such a horrible ability. Why would? What kind of a name is that? I mean, yeah. As for its type, um. It is a firefighting type, just like practically every other starter in the series. I mean, you got Infernape, Embor, uh, that's it. <laughs> but, I don't know, people just like really hate those firefighting starters, I don't know why. Because like, Blaziken is good and Infernape is pretty good. I mean, Embor is okay, I mean, as long as it, as soon as it gets reckless, reckless, sorry, it will probably be decent. But, I don't know, it's only three generations of starters, guys. It's only like half of them, you know, it's only 50%. <laughs> but uh, it does not have any double weaknesses, which is really great. And in addition, it does have a double resistance of Bug. Now, Bug is not very common. However, with that double resistance, it can easily switch into Mega Heracross's um, Pin Missile a little bit better. And you can retaliate with the Flare Blitz, which will, which should pretty much decimate him. I mean, uh, even after, like, you know, just... I don't know, if you wanted to run Bandit or something, or Life Orb or something, then you should should beat him. Um, so that's basically the only thing that Bug really does, to be honest. I mean, if you if you see a Mega Pinsir, like, he's just gonna use Quick Attack and kill you, so... <laughs> there's not much else for Bug, but, um... It does have some common weaknesses, such as Psychic, Ground, um, and Water. So those are all bad weaknesses to have. So that's why... You know, firefighting types are really, really unlucky because they do have these weaknesses that are all over the place. And now, flying is not as common, but it is pretty common, so you just gotta watch out. But just don't switch into Mega. Oh, yeah, it is common, sorry. Talonflame, Brave Bird, and Mega Pinsir return and quick attack. So you just gotta watch out. So all of his weaknesses are very common, so that's probably why. It... Well. It's an uber, so I'm not going to say anything there, but as for its resistance, it does have resistance to dark, which is nice, and steel. Those two are pretty common now in the metagame ever since uh, uh, dark types got buffed, and then steel types also got buffed as well, so those are getting more common. Ice is decently common. You got hidden power ice all over the place, trying to hit those Garchomp's Landorus's and stuff, so that's pretty decent resistance. Uh, grass is not very common, um, and fire is decently common, but... Basically, Dark, Steel, and Ice are your main resistances. As for its base stats, it does have a total of 530, uh, which is decent, especially after its Mega gets 630, but we are just going to be covering regular Blaziken today. It does have okay defenses and special defenses, and it's okay HP. Well, its HP is decent, but look at his offenses. 120 attack and 110 special attack. This picture shows he can basically have power over fire, like special attacking, and with fists which is attacking. Um, the only thing that brings this guy really much down is his speed at 80 base speed. But look at this abilities. First of all, you got Blaze, which basically when you're at 1 third HP or below, fire attacks do 1.5 times more damage, which is pretty helpful, but it's not very common, and it's it, it, it helps, it's, it's, to be honest, it's not going to help you too much on any Pokemon because um, often it's overshadowed by other abilities. Because this is not that great, but it's not bad. But um, it's 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 only helpful when you're at a third HP or below. And most fire types are going to be running flare blitz, and or fire blast. And flare blitz will basically kill you, and fire blast will miss when you most need it. So, I mean, it does help for flamethrower, but other than that, it's just completely overshadowed by other abilities. Now, its hidden ability, which I I'm going to start putting the hidden abilities in black. Uh, the black border, and this one is speed boost. Now, basically, what speed boost is that at the end of every turn you get plus one speed. How great is that? I mean, like seriously, look. Do you remember his eighty base speed? Well, this this is just gonna like give you like a free choice scarf boost every 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 single 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 turn turn turn. So yeah. Um, to be honest, I do not think that regular Blaziken should be an Uber because I don't think its stats are there. It hits pretty hard, but like you've got stuff like Mega Mawile hitting people harder, and like Belly Drum Azumarill, they hit really hard. So this guy does hit really hard, but I think the reason why it's actually an Uber is because it does have like pretty much unlimited coverage. So yeah, but seriously, I personally don't think that it deserves to go to Ubers because I think it could 
I think it could easily be brought down in OU. I mean, you got Mega Pinsir all over the place. What, what, what was Smogon thinking, to be honest? But, like, um, yeah. So I would say that it should be an OU, but I don't have a say in this because I don't really play on Smogon. So, yeah. Um, basically, just, I don't really have much experience in Uber, so, yeah. Uh, basically, what this is, is Baton Pass, um, um, basically just have leftovers to keep recovering and hope that you don't die with those 70 base defenses and 80 base HP and just maximize your 252 speed and 252 attack um, to be honest if you wanted you could run 252 HP I think but that's up to you uh, you do want to run Jolly Nature for um, more speed but if you really really wanted you could run Impish as well now basically this is just trying to baton pass some speed boost to the next Pokemon and possibly a substitute but um, I would actually go with Roar, which is what the yellow means, because I'm Super Electivire, and Electivire is yellow. So when I have an input, I'll just put it in yellow. And um, so Roar is actually going to be able to phase them out. So let's say they know you're trying to Baton Pass, so you're just racking up the Protects. Now, what they want to do is that while you're protecting, they're going to go with the Swords Dance. So you can just use Roar get rid of those Swords Dance. So that can be really helpful. However, Substitute does have its merits, because not only can you get an extra speed boost, but you can also pass it to the next Pokemon. To take a hit and in addition um flyer blitz is uh your recommended choice however in my opinion fire punch fire punch sorry is as good because you do not take that recoil so that you can't baton pass to the next pokemon now flare blitz is better if you want to just come in and don't want to um baton pass you just want to wreck havoc so flare blitz is there so Basically, this set is really going to help those slower Pokemon who can't get up to that speed and mostly rely on um, bulk. Um, in addition, some things will shut it down, like priority. Um, like, if you see a Mega Pinsir in Ubers, well, it's going to have priority. So you got to watch out for that stuff. And also, Taunt. Taunt will completely wreck this as well. Um, Deoxy's speed is the fastest thing that could beat you, especially after a speed boost. So you are going to want to uh, watch out for Deoxy's speed because its, ta its taunt will completely shut you down. Now, Groudon is also interesting as a teammate because it will provide the sun, which not only makes the water attacks do less, and it will boost your Flare Blitz or Fire Punch. So, yeah, that can be pretty helpful. Um, you will need a breed for Baton Pass if you are going to play use this on regular games. But to be honest, I would not run this set um, on like Pokemon X and Y or something because... You know, you know, it's not that great of a set, um, because it's mostly for Ubers, but, um, it does have some merits, such as Roar, which is not on the other sets, but you can definitely bring on Roar to the next set, or whatever. You can totally mix them on sets, you know. So you want a Baton Pass, um, you can breed with Eevee, Mawile, etc., um, but this is a uh, this is like more of a standard set. I wouldn't say it's the standard set, but this is a better baton pass set, especially if you're gonna run it in the games. So um, basically, if you want to run any standard sets, I would not follow the smog sets because they're mostly designed for Ubers. So you, I would use the Poke Battle Cerebi sets just because they are they are more common in the meta game. So to be honest, if you are gonna run baton pass Blaziken. Mega, especially if you're running bulk up, Mega will benefit a lot because it does have a, a bit better defenses, um, but le it does not get leftovers, so you gotta watch out for that. So I'm not sure if you really want to run Mega, but it it is very great on a lot of these sets. Uh, Mega Blaziken completely overshadows Blaziken, so yeah. But in case you are like out of points or something, or in case you like have another Mega on your slot that you want to run, Blaziken is definitely a really great option. I mean, it's an Uber, so yeah. Now, the color coding is a bit weird. Again, the yellow is for stuff that I put in. If they're in parentheses, they were not included in any of the sets. And uh, if they're not in parentheses, then that's just basically what um, I would recommend. But the green is for um, the... I basically combined two sets for this. So the green is for the items and stuff that were on Cerebi. And the red is for the stuff that was on Poke Battle. So, um, basically, Leftovers is like the best thing you could run. Especially, especially if you're running Substitute. Now, Air Balloon is very helpful as well to switch into Earthquake, Setup, whatever. And it can be really helpful, especially if they're Choice uh, choice Banded or Choice Scarfed or Choice Specs into Earth Power or Earthquake. So that can really help you set up Swords Dances and stuff. Now, it also eliminates a weakness for a couple turns or one turn. Um, but in addition, you can also run Life Orb if you do want to just deal damage. If you want to, like, substitute, baton pass, get out. Then when you come back in, you can deal with... <laughs> 
deal so much damage. But um, Adamant is basically trying to increase your damage output because he does have that 120 base attack. So it is very viable. Um, max your attack, max your speed is basically Sweeper who, are, who is trying to baton pass. Now, you know, um, on Poke Battle, I would say that substitute, you know, basically the first move is what you want to pass to the next person or use yourself. So substitute Sword Stance or Bulk Up. Now, Bulk Up is pretty decent, but Mega uh, abuses this a lot better. But Bulk Up can definitely, you know, help you a lot. So, yeah. Um, Sword Stance is going to be a pretty, pretty decent uh, thing that you can run. Boost up, boost up, boost up, boost up, wreck havoc. Especially if you're going to baton pass it to like a plus two Garchomp with plus four speed or something. It's too good. But yeah, Substitute is also great for taking hits as they come in. So it's all three are very viable. You're going to want baton pass to baton pass, you know. And then um, Flare Blitz or Fire Punch. Now, this set, I would actually run Flare Blitz a little bit more than Fire Punch. However, if you are just trying to baton pass, go with Fire Punch. But Flare Blitz, High Jump Kick, Stone Edge, they all help you a lot if you are not if you are just going to come back and deal deal tons of damage. Um, Stone Edge basically coverage and stuff, but um, Flare Blitz and High Jump Kick hits everything. Now, I would say that you can even run Knock Off if you wanted, but um, yeah. The final thing that you could run is Protect. Now, Protect is very helpful to get off a free speed boost and stuff. So if you are running Substitute, then you probably don't need Protect. And if you are running Protect, then you might not want Substitute. So that's just up to you. So some threats and stuff are Talonflame and Mega Pinsir. They are super effective, so you are going to want to bring like a, a Bird Spam counter, like a Tyranitar, Rotom Wash, you know, one of those guys. That's going to really help you out because... You know, just like one attack will pretty much kill you, I think. And then uh, you are going to want to have priority. Uh, I mean, you are going to want to be afraid of priority be j because, you know, Talonflame and Mega Pinsir, that's basically what they're doing. Now, hazards will help both you and your opponent. Um, you do have a lot of power, so in case it is not enough, maybe some spikes will help make up for it. Um, and in addition, they will hurt you as well. So you just got to watch out for those. Now, Wish is really helpful for this set. So you just come in. Substitute, get the wish, you know, and you're full HP again. It, it really helps, especially if it's from like a Chansey or something, Blissey even. That will really help you. Um, same thing for breeding, you are going to need Baton Pass. So, moving on. So, this is once again a small gun and a showdown set. So, this is basically again for Uber, so you really won't see too much of this. Um, this is a pretty standard set, but they changed it to make it more uber, like more for uber, so your choice really there. Basically, you're just going to try doing an attacking set. Um, you are you are going to be using low kick, which you'll need to breed from like something like Watchdog. And you are going to need knockoff, or, well, you can use knockoff, but it, it is a transfer move. And in addition, again, baton pass. Um, it's basically for Mega Blaziken, but you can run it on regular with the Life Orb. It'll still do a huge chunk of damage. I believe me regular Blaziken with the Life Orb actually does more damage than Mega Blaziken. But Mega Blaziken has some great uh, defense, like some better defenses. I believe it gets like 80 and 80 or something. So that's why it's mostly for Mega Blaziken. But this is just something that I just slapped onto here. So the low kick, you know, in Ubers, how everything's really heavy. Like, you got Dialga, you got, you know, Arceus, you know, all that. They're all really heavy, so that's why low kick will probably be doing the most damage. However, if you would like, you can run high jump kick if you're going to be in Ubers. Just watch out for, like, if they have, like, a Giratina or something, that will, like, make you lose HP. So you just got to watch out for those. Now, um, you'll notice I color-coded the Protects and the Baton Passes, and basically you want to uh, bring the, the same colors together. So green will go with green, and blue will go with blue. So if you are going to run Protect, then you ha then if you are going to run Baton Pass, then you want to have Protect, basically. Um, but you can also run Sword Stance for increased power, which is very handy. And in addition, you can run Knock Off, which will knock off their item, which can also be very handy, especially if, if um, they know you have High Jump Kick, and then they want to switch into their Giratina, but they get hit by a Knock Off instead. That's going to be doing a huge ton of damage. In addition, you do have Stone Edge for hitting, like, I don't know, like, Yvetal or something. Um, in case you need it. Um, other than that, it's basically the same stuff. You want Wish, you want Groudon, you want it, it, you want basically whatever you want. It's basically a sim very similar set to the Baton Pass one earlier. Uh, now, this one is actually from Poke Battle. I would call this a gimmick because, you know, you really won't see too many mixed plays of cans now. This can really help be helpful um, to hit, like, you know, Dawnfin or something. 
but like in Skarmory that will normally wall you, but like, you know, you won't see this on many Blaziken. So basically we wanted to hold Life Orb, which will boost um, not only your physical attacks, but it will also boost your special attacks. And you want, I believe the EVs are to maximize like how much you, how much damage you need, um, and then you want to put the rest in speed, or basically max out speed and then put the rest in your offenses. You want to run Naughty Nature, because you are going to run less attack EV, so you do want to raise your attack with your nature. And basically, Protect is to get you your free speed boost. High Jump Kick is just to do a huge amount of damage, and don't forget to miss. Wait, 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 what? No, don't miss. Fire Blast is going to be hitting those um, physically defensive stuff with your stab, which, will get, which is going to be really cool. Um, and even those specially defensive stuff will get hit by High Jump Kick. And then Hidden Power Ice is not going to be doing that much damage, but it will hit Garchomp, Landorus, and that stuff that's hit by Hidden Power Ice four times, which will really, you know, you can't, if you can't touch them, then that's what you go with. So basically the same thing, except it's it's just mixed. Um, now here is basically the standard set that most Blaziken are running. This is from Serebi, and uh, basically you just want to put out Life Orb, and then uh, Adamant Nature, That's and then just Sword Stance, High Jump Kick, Flare Blitz, and then either Protect for an extra speed boost, or knock off for, um, you know, knock off, just knocking off their item, which is really helpful. Um, especially predicting switches and stuff like that, knock off choice band, Eviolite, whatever. But uh, I think that you can also try Thunder Punch, but I will not run Thunder Punch. I would mostly run knock off instead. But if you need transfer, or if you can't get transfer, then you might want to run Thunder Punch. Uh, but Protect is very, very, very viable, and I actually run Protect on my Blaziken. Um, although, knockoff is really viable too, but I only run knockoff on simulators because, you know, I don't want to transfer. But, Wish is very helpful for this one as well. You're going to have that Flare Blitz and it's just going to completely wipe out your HP, so you really want Wish. Um, but, this is a huge wall breaking set. I mean, you got 120 base attack, and then you're going to boost it up to plus 2 and then hit with 100, more than 100 base power moves. That's going to do a huge ton of damage. So, yeah. Um, now, he is the Mega introduced before other Hoenn starters. Um, if you notice that Mega Sceptile and Mega uh, Swampert were only introduced as uh, uh, Omega, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire were, were introduced, but Blaziken was introduced during X and Y. It is also the only fully evolved starter that appeared in the anime before generation its generation de debut. For Blaziken, it was Generation 3. And in addition, its pre-alpha sketch seems to show that Blaziken used to be combined with Latias, as this uh, one shows. It's a little blurry since I enlarged it, but that's basically what it looked like. Uh, you could tell it sort of looks like a flying Blaziken with the head of a Latia, so yeah. Um, it's also based on a J Japanese fighting chicken. As you can tell, it's a fire fighting type, and its name comes from Blaze and Chicken. Blaze Chicken. <laughs> well, that's it for this video. Um, I would run Mega. Just a side thought. Well, yeah, on that happy note, well, thanks for watching, guys. See you guys later, and please subscribe if you like.